When you helped us in Pasadena the right, other day, I was trying you. really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something. Um, so we'll come back to some more. I didn't, I didn't expect to jump straight into it like that. So apparently my guy's now a sergeant. You would look quickly. He, he jumped an entire rank. He didn't go to corporal, but straight to sergeant. Um, How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. So we got a promo. Very nice. If you guys are new around here as well, please subscribe. I'm um, making a big push this year towards that 1,000 subscriber mark. If you could help me along the way, I would really appreciate it. Rivers, DN46890. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. Marachino cherries again. I don't get it. How did they bring that buggy down here? To be fair, I'm quite glad that, um... Are you all right? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a second. You'd be correct, I don't. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. Uh, hmm. Alvin lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, come on. It's very pleased to see the mission report from Pasadena. Bob aware of this, but is essential that we mobilize all troops in your area and abandon all level three outposts. Understand the consequences will, and will take responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps promotion is in order. I'll leave the decision to you. I want you to keep him close. Well, if we're number three on Skynet's kill list, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And I'm no longer Private, and now a Sergeant. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, then given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? It's the right thing to do. There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. 
It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. No. No, it doesn't. I'm just warning you. Don't hold your breath waiting for all of this to be over. There will always be another war. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. <laughs> What's the difference? I don't treat them as equals. And although I know they're just machines, I want them to fear me. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. People do stand up to bullies. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. Takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Oh yeah, but no one ever stands up to a bully, she said that. Whoever programmed the game sort of thing. Not being funny. I got bullied for years at school until I reached a tipping point where I couldn't stand it anymore. And then I rearranged a guy's face and I got suspended from school. Bullies can only push you so much until you snap. And when you snap, generally something of theirs snaps. And that's exactly what happened. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. Is there a problem with the radio? The annihilation line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. I mean, that does make sense. If you think they're going to intercept anything, the best way to avoid that is to use runners. Send a runner with a message, written or verbally given, pass it on. It's something they can't intercept unless they kill the messenger. Considering how advanced the shit is that the uh, Terminators have got, I won't trust the fucking radio either. More wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance, we have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. This does not seem like a good idea. Oh hell. Um. Just update that slightly. Jesus. You two follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Oh, not following me, they're running ahead of me. Fighters up ahead! Got it! Lead the way! This way! Good to see you, Sergeant! 
What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Skynet dropped reinforcements behind their backs. Now they're between a rock and a hard place. All right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way. Giant killing machine over there. It was never alive. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Now, shoot before it reboots. Finally, this way. It's just beyond that overpass. Fucking hell, that fucker took some ammo to die. That's not the uh, thingy. I've got some good shit on you. You left the goddamn egghead scientist dude all the fucking way down here. I'll the fucking chipmunk. I think that was a good idea. Cover. What, 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 what fucking happened? What tanks now?
fucking metal dick. Start a fucking ammo. This is not good. of um, ammo if I got it. Have it. The dock's in danger. Get up that hill. Sergeant, we got this. Go find the dock. I'm to go where? Fuck me. Where? There. The dock's in danger. Get up that hill. Yeah, shut up. Follow me. Going? We need to shit. rescue the dock before those tanks reach us. Oh shit! We're too late. They're already here. A bogger. They got bigger gun than me. Ugh. Everyone's got bigger gun than me. I don't like it. I need one of those purple laser ones. This is it! Take care of those drones! Right out in front of me. It's clear. Wait here. I'll go get the doctor. Yo, oh. nude. Oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers, we need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. 
so it weren't one of Bar Baron's things, it was probably a, uh, a Team right? 101. We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Yeah. Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. You don't like it? I'm the one that's had to fight all this fucking hell while shooting these goddamn things. Get my ass down near blown off. You lost out. Mm. So the goddamn egghead ran ahead of me. Fucking nerd. Yo, dweeb. Alvin. Oh my, what happened? They the yes. Are you alright? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Gah! Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Ariel! Is that a legendary lord at a total war armor? Ugh. Okay, go! It's turning around! Just run faster. Us. Don't look back! Good idea! I ain't fucking stopping for shit. You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. You'd think that if uh, Terminator went there Still, don't and gave move. misinformation, us out of there, Sergeant. you'd think it would have killed the dude. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock? Fucking yeah, talk about being fucking... I was young and stupid. Thank story God the drone ass. wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine, he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. That huge guy. Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. 
Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to the scientist? Huh. He was always doing his experiments, trying to outsmart Skynet. One day he fucked up, and because of that he's no longer with us. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. That doesn't mean I didn't have a kill count back then. It just consisted of people. But that's a different story. Jacob, got a minute? What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Whew. We took a big hit today, didn't we? This guy and it's getting closer and closer. I hate to be that guy, but I don't know if we're as safe here as we think we are. That would be a uh, logical assessment to make, though, buddy. Get the fuck out of the way. That location your targets are not displayed, however, there are two signal strength indicators on the upper left corner of your hood. Increasing percentage values indicates that you are moving towards target. Decrease value increase moving away from the target. Okay, I'm seeing two GPS trackers. Those should be our guys. What the hell are they doing here? So next one's at level 18 for both of those and I'm at level 15 so I need to save a point for around then so I can unlock both of these. Could be somewhat handy, since them big fuckers need to be hit with them. Uh, okay. Um,
nothing that has that stability. Oh, wow, these are both clip. They don't both. One's fine. Where's the highest damage one? 8%, that'll do me. Plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Flamethrower. If I could get close enough to take a picture. Shit. Didn't I get any more grenades? Shit. Look at that. What's this thing? I can craft it. Fuck. What I will do is, I will leave this part here since I've come through because I've obviously got to get on with this next one and try and find what's happening with these scouts. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. The playlist link will be in the top of the description. And I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.